Uh, this is the hub installed. You got to cock the hub a little bit to an angle to get your get this grease fitting this grease fitting tip right here and get that grease fitting tip to go in right beside right here beside that you push it in you fill this hub cavity all the way forward you start to see it come out stop rotate the hub a little bit to kind of get the hub you know get mixed up your lube then you'll see another gap on the uh, on the uh, on the opposite side of the hub it'll rotate around stick the gun uh, grease nipple in there pump it till the grease comes all the way out here's what you end up with once you stick your washer you put your your outer bearing in and your grease will come out like this and then put your washer in this is what you're going to see you want to keep as much of this grease level out here as you can possibly keep it because you're eventually going to fill up this cap like I said up here to this ring the snap ring it's going to be filled you're going to actually put this in there and drive it in and when you do that black center hub volt area there will pop out that'll tell you that it's pressurized and all your seals and everything are installed properly and then pretty much you're good to go once you do that and now I'm getting ready to put the the uh, castle nut on and I'm going to tighten it down 15 to 20 foot pounds or finger tight then I'll put on the keeper the, the castle nut keeper and then the cotter pin and then we'll be done